Amelia here from Study in Australia TV. We're going to be talking about engineering professional bodies and job opportunities in engineering industries in Australia. Typical job options for an engineer in Australia are in civil, mining, chemical engineering, robotics, aerospace engineering, electrical and electronics, manufacturing, mechanical and telecommunications engineering, to name a few. Engineering is a broad field, but it typically falls under four main disciplines, chemical, civil, electrical and electronic, and mechanical engineering. Let's talk more about the four broad engineering areas so you can better understand what's involved in these study areas. Chemical engineers develop and design chemical manufacturing processes for industry. They apply the principles of chemistry, biology and physics to solve problems that involve the production or use of chemicals, fuel, drugs, food and raw materials. What about civil engineering? Civil engineers concentrate on infrastructure projects that make our communities function better. They design, construct and maintain our roads, railway systems, bridges, tunnels, airports, water and waste management systems in a sustainable way. Electrical and electronic engineers design and work across a range of electrical and electronic situations. Things like smart devices, medical imagery, defence technologies, communication systems and IT, all of these contribute to many aspects of our modern life. Electrical and electronic engineers work in mining and power distribution, develop technologies for advanced manufacturing, mechatronics, robotics, computing systems, automotive and avionic industries. What about mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineers work with new moving technologies across a range of industries. They design and develop materials, processes and products across a range of applications like prosthetic limbs, robotics, sustainable energy systems, motor vehicles, aerospace and mining. Mechanical engineers develop products from small parts to large plant machinery and work on all stages of a product from development, design, manufacture to installation. Other specialisations available for mechanical engineers include aerospace engineering, defence systems, mechatronics, robotics and renewable systems. Engineering students must do a minimum eight week practical placement and complete a four year honours degree program to be eligible to work as an engineer in Australia. Graduates in engineering may be eligible for membership of one of the following engineering bodies. Engineers Australia or the Association of Professional Engineers, Scientists and Managers Australia or APESMA. Let's start with Engineers Australia. With around 100,000 members, Engineers Australia is the profession's peak body in Australia. They're the voice of the profession and exist to advance the science and practice of engineering for the benefit of the community. Their high standards, globally recognised credentials and international agreements enable Engineers Australia members to live and work around the world, with members currently in more than 120 countries. Founded in 1919 as the Institution of Engineers Australia, their work has underpinned the progress of Australia for more than a century. Engineering plays a pivotal role in society and will continue to shape the future of Australia, creating healthy, prosperous, secure and sustainable communities. To be eligible for membership to Engineers Australia, you must complete a four-year engineering degree with honours from a recognised tertiary institution. Engineers Australia membership fees start at $100 per year for new graduates and grows up to $574 per year for a full membership. These fees are for 2021, so make sure you double check the Engineers Australia website in case it's changed. There are many benefits to joining Engineers Australia, including access to events and forums, professional development opportunities, award programs, support and professional benchmarking, advocacy services and exclusive rewards, savings and discounts through their partners. Engineers Australia members also have access to a suite of online resources and training opportunities. The other professional body engineers can join in Australia is the Association of Professional Engineers, Scientists and Managers Australia or APESMA. APE SMA represents professionals from a wide variety of disciplines, including engineering, science, IT, pharmacy, management, translators and interpreters, 
architecture, surveying and many more. They have a network of 25,000 Australian professionals and for more than 60 years have been advancing the workplace rights for professionals. They can help at every career stage with expert advice on pay, conditions and rights at work. The type of professional services APE SMA members are entitled to a workplace advice and support, contract review before signing an employment contract, advice on market value and pay scales, and free seminars to learn and network with other professionals. 2021 full membership fees of APE SMA is $787 per year, but we recommend that you double check their website in case it's changed. It's also useful to know what job opportunities are like in Australia for engineers, and we're pleased to say they're fantastic at the moment. Engineers also earn above the average salary. For example, a civil engineer earns on average $70,000 per year. An electronics engineer, $80,000 per year. A chemical engineer, $90,000 per year. A mechanical, mechatronics and robotics engineer can earn $100,000 per year. An electrical engineer, $110,000 per year. And an aerospace engineer can earn on average $145,000 per year. So, it's a career that can be very rewarding, both from a professional and monetary point of view. The job opportunities at the moment in engineering in Australia are great as well, with over 5,000 job ads across Australia currently on Seek, which is the leading online job search platform in Australia. I hope you found this information helpful if you're considering studying an engineering degree. This information we've compiled and presented by Study in Australia TV is not legal advice, so we'd recommend that you seek further information from the professional bodies directly, or alternatively, our team can provide general assistance. Let us know if you need any help with your study choice or professional membership. We're always happy to help. Stay tuned for more professional body information for other study discipline areas that can lead to excellent work experience in Australia. Bye for now.